Hi everybody, uh, this is a response to the uh, Edwards guy, Ron Naflick, uh, showing how to clean an uh, axial flow valve. Um, let me just tell you what's happening here. So I uh, have a concert tonight, uh, I am the bass trombone in the uh, Garfield Symphony Orchestra, and um, I just wanted to clean out my trombone, just sort of, sort of get everything lubed up well and sort of all that sort of stuff. And um, for some reason, so the trombone I have is a uh, Shires, a secondhand Shires uh, double bass axial flow inline, uh, whatever. Uh, but so when I bought this thing, the guy who sold it to me, he's a local musician, um, never was able to get open the F valve. He was always able to, able to get out and clean out the G flat, but in I think seven years, he was never able to open up the um, the F. But um, let me just show you what it happens if you don't clean these things in, I guess, seven, five to seven years. I'm not exactly how sure this in instrument is. Here's the top plate of the F valve. That there is all green calcium buildup. So if I work really hard, I'm sure this is probably not very good, but if I s try to scrape with the, um, the edge of my thumbnail, it will sort of, sort of um, a little bit will come off. But uh, let me just show you the inside of it because that's even worse. But... That is all nasty cal calcium buildup. And you can see where the other hole for the uh, rotor is. Where's the rotor? It's right here. Uh, the rotor's pretty clean, but it's like one of those lightweight ones, so it has the side cut out. But um, there's a little bit of stuff there. I'm just sort of really gently sort of taking a toothpick, a wooden toothpick, and um, sort of scraping out the insides. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> I was never able to get this F valve open until now. And um, that that's kind of makes me happy, uh, first of all. But... When I, as soon as I saw the inside of this, it's like, oh, no wonder it was sort of scratching a little bit whenever I use the valve. So um, it's definitely not good for the rotor that you have it that dirty and have all these little um, bumps and, and like calluses or whatever all over the uh, inside of this. Because if you put your finger in there, it is quite scratchy. You can probably hear it. So not good. Uh, just <laughs> this, I'm just showing this as an example, so it's more a motivation to clean your horn, um, I guess. But <sighs> yeah, if you ever have this sort of thing uh, where you just haven't opened it up or just clean your dang horn <laughs> because it's pretty nasty so uh, yeah hopefully that was a uh, learned lesson and a uh, good public service announcement but uh, yeah hopefully the Edwards guys will let me upload this as a review response but anyway I uh, hope you enjoyed that and uh, hope you learned the lesson